Previously, we have seen different scripts like your given script, client script. So, client script usually executes when make some interaction with Y, like selecting the customer or adding the line level DD and saving the record. Same way, user event script also would have triggered whenever we save the record or whenever we load that particular record. But schedule script, the name itself clearly says it works based on schedule basis. So, this schedule script runs uh, as per the schedule we find in the script deployment record and process the logic which we have done in this schedule script. So let's create a switch script file for schedule script. So I'm going to click control shift and click create switch script file. And here I'm going to select schedule script and I'm going to load few modules like search module and record module. I'm going to select the folder where I want to store my file. I'm going to provide some name for this. Let's say sample. And this is the basic schedule script syntax in version 2.1. So this schedule script has a one default entry point called as execute and this has an parameter called as script context. Now let's take a quick example to use the schedule script. So so far in user event script and client script we deploy those scripts on some specific record. Let's say we deploy it on some sales order record or some purchase order record and we used to test those. But this schedule script needs some input right. So we're gonna make use of some save switch. So from the save switch we're gonna bring the results into the schedule script and we're going to process those results so in order to do that i have already logged into an Etsy account i have also created a save switch it has a very basic filter criteria i have made a basic save switch sales order record its type of sales order and mainline as true and the internal id has been not coded with 33 and 41 if i just run this i can see two results and if you just clearly notice the memo field one record this 33 with a document number 2001 does not have any memo value and another record with document number 2002 has some basic value called as test in the memo so what we're going to do is using our schedule script we're going to update these two records this 2001 and 2002 with some memo value since we're going to make use of this save search in our script we're going to use this save search within our uh, code in order to show you how i'm going to make use of this save search in my script i'm going to go to help center in the help set, I'm going to search for search module. I'm click on the first link and I'm going to search for search.load API. Here I have a search.load API which clearly says uh, requires a parameter of ID and type and the required is ID. So we just need the internal ID or script ID of a save switch which clearly says here. Now if I just go back to my save switch and if I click on edit this search and there is a ID field here which clearly provides me the ID of this save. I'm going to copy this save search internal ID. So I'm going to provide a variable called as search object. So I'm going to use my search.load API here. I know ID is the mandatory field so I'm going to provide the save search ID here. We are not going to provide any type here because we are just going to use the existing save search which we created in Netsuit. Why? So now we have loaded our save search. Now we have to run this save search. So in order to do that, I'm going to go back to Netshoot, help center, and just click back. And I'm going to see what search.load API returns. So search.load API returns search.search object. So if I just scroll up, so we can see search object members. I'm going to click on the search object members. So from this search, we're going to run this search. So I'm going to make use of this search.run API. So this run API is going to return the object called as search.result set. So I'm going to go back to that search.result set object members. So if I just scroll up, we can see the result set object members. I'm going to click on that. So here we have an option of each to loop through that each result. So I'm going to click on this API called as result set dot each. So if I scroll down, you can see the sample code again. So I'm going to copy this each function completely and go back to my code where I'm going to paste this dot this each is going to loop through each and every result of our a search we're gonna remove all this code and we're just going to get the id the result so i'm gonna use result dot id so this result dot id will provide me the internal id of that record which is on the result so if i just log this id also i can show you in the option log later now our main intention is to update sales order record with some mo value so in order to do that, I'm going to make use of this record module. So I'm going to go back to help center. 
there are two ways to update the sales order record either you can load the record and then set the value in that memo field and then save the record so in order to do that we can make use of record dot load and then record dot set value and then finally record dot save the three step process we are to use three different apis to do this so just to update a body level value we can just make use of another api called as record dot submit fields so i'm going to make use of this record dot submit fields which is supported on both client side and server side script if i just open this api it returns the internal id of the record which we going to submit if i just scroll down it requires the type as a required type of the record which we going to submit and the id of the record and the values in an object like which in all fields we going to submit those things and we have other few options which are optional so if i just scroll down here i have a basic syntax since we're going to update the sales order record i'm going to make use of this sample code i'm going to copy this and if i just go back to my code i'm going to paste this code so here it's already specify the type as sales order id we're going to pass this as our id this is coming up in the result set values we're going to update the memo so let's leave it as abc options enable sourcing let's leave it as it is by default which provides this return true is provided by this runich if i don't return this true it is not going to loop through my next results it's just going to stop with my first one result itself so it's better to give it return true always so that it loops through all my results in my saves let me just upload this code to netsuit so in order to do that i'm going to click on alt shift Now that I have uploaded my script, my file cabinet, so we're gonna create a script record and deployment for the schedule script, and we're gonna test our script. So in order to do that, I'm gonna navigate to customization, ping scripts, and click on new. So now let's select our uh, schedule script file. So here is my schedule script file. I'm gonna select that file. I'm gonna click on create script record. So I'm gonna provide some name for this. I'm I'm gonna provide the ID. and i'm just going to click save the script record now let's deploy the script so i'm going to click on deploy script so if you clearly notice on the script deployment compared to user driven script and client script we usually have that applies to field where we have to select the record where this driven script or client script should be deployed but when you notice on the schedule script there is no option of selecting that record or applies to Where you have to apply this particular schedule script, right? So it's a schedule-based script, as I mentioned. So I'm gonna provide the ID for this script deployment. So right now we can see the all the options of scheduling in the bottom under schedule tab, like single event or it has to be a daily event. Uh, do you want to repeat on a daily basis on which days, weekly event or monthly event or yearly event? Repeat by every one hour, hours. So if you see minimum starts from every 15 minutes. maximum every 12 hours something like that that is the option we have so right now we are not going to schedule this and test instead of that we're going to trigger this schedule script manually so in order to do that i am going to keep it as as not scheduled if i am going to schedule it in future like once i'm done with my testing and everything so i'm going to click scheduled so i'm going to run this manually i'm going to keep it to not scheduled i'm just going to click save and if you clearly notice we have multiple options here like log level we're going to set it to debug and the priority do you want this schedule script to run as a high priority so i'm going to click the priority as or i'm going to set the priority as high so as of now i'm not worried about the priority i'm going to leave it to default which is standard and then i'm going to click save for the first time and if you just put down on this drop down i don't see any option of save and execute so for whenever you save this deployment for the first time you just need to click save on this deployment record now once you save this deployment record now just click on edit same deployment and if you just click on this drop down of the save button you can see an option called as save and execute so now let's click on this save and execute now let's refresh the schedule script status speak a few moments later okay, the script has completed but it has failed let's open the deployment and let's check the execution log please uh, there is a error it says intermediate value dot dedug is not a function it really says i have made some mistake let me just go and it's debug instead of dedug so i'm going to upload this code now let's just go back to our script deployment and i'm going to rerun this code 
So our schedule script has completed its running. If I just open this document and if I just log, I can see 33 and 41 has been logged as per our and then it should have done this record or submit field where the memo value should be updated with e. Now let's go back to shoot and see the CSS results. And if I just refresh the CSS result, you can see both the memo value has been updated. Now let's open one of the record which is 41. And if I just scroll down and if I just on the system information, there we can see the system notes. It clearly says the old value was test and the new value was ABC got changed by context called script scheduled set by system so this is a very basic script for the schedule script which we have done so we can do any other logics as per our requirement